What is going on, everybody? Uh, this video is going to be, I guess, the follow-up to an article I wrote on Medium back in March, uh, which showed how to uh, check for a BIOS update with Python on Linux Mint. Uh, I will link that down in the description. Uh, but basically, I have an Aorus uh, motherboard, uh, and the BIOS updates come out for it uh, kind of sporadically, not on a schedule. I believe if you're on Windows, there's a program you can install that automatically checks for it, uh, but that just isn't available on Linux. Uh, so if you want to see how to set that up, uh, you can read through this article and set that up on your own PC. Uh, if you have uh, an AORUS motherboard or one that just isn't uh, supported to check for updates on your system and you are on Linux. Uh, so let's jump right in. So uh, today I went in and I see I have my Slack notifications saying I am on F64A but there is F64E available. Uh, and I could just go and check that on their BIOS update. And we can see on September 21st, uh, 2023, uh, that they did release that. So we can just go ahead and download that. And I have a, a USB stick here and I am going to just go ahead and uh, cd to that directory, single quote, so it doesn't try to read that space. And then I can just copy from tilde from my home directory, downloads, and we just need to see what that was called, uh, mb underscore bios. So, Hopefully that's the only one there. And where do I want to copy it? I want to copy it to this directory and I can unzip that. And if we do an LS, we can see that we now have uh, the F64E. And we can go ahead and just remove uh, the other files that are on there. And if you just put in a, a USB stick, uh, you might need to format it on Linux Mint. It's easy, just a USB format. Uh, you're gonna wanna make that FAT32 and uh, you should be good to go. And then you can just copy uh, the file over. Uh, and of course you do that through the, the graphical user interface. Uh, I'm just actually on my main PC and uh, OSINT is a thing and you never know what data you might leak that uh, people can use maliciously. All right, so now we just need to have that USB stick installed. Uh, and then when we go ahead and reboot, uh, we're going to uh, use the magic key, I forget which, I will check and we'll be right back. Okay, and that's rebooting. I did mess up a little bit because I thought I was recording with my phone, but uh, I was taking a picture. Uh, but when this comes up, we'll get a little hint at the bottom to go to BIOS and Q flash by pressing delete. And for whatever reason, the mouse is a little bit slow here in the BIOS. So we want to do Q flash. And we're just going to scroll down to update BIOS. Oh, double click. Uh, seems a little odd, but uh, that's probably because I didn't format the USB. I reused one. Uh, I had already used and so that's going to verify the file 
and I just updated uh, so I, I'm not going to run this again uh, but you'd want to also update your backup BIOS just in case anything goes sideways uh, then you can revert back uh, I've been on this version uh, since February so I'm pretty sure it's stable uh, and then I just hit start takes about 10 minutes also I have had it where even after formatting the USB and it's really clean in here it's the only file available um, it'll give you a message like oh now I can't get it to do it yeah can't read file or something like that uh, in that case I found using a different USB port uh, tends to sort that out uh, I'm not sure what would cause that all my ports work but uh, just know that if you formatted it to FAT32 uh, and then uh, put the the right BIOS version on there uh, and get something like that uh, just try writing it again but using a different USB port alright I'm gonna back out of this and go back to my operating system and one other thing that I forget every single time I update my BIOS, uh, once that up that updates, you're probably going to want to reboot and come back in uh, and enable virtualization. Uh, so it'll vary by the motherboard you're using. Uh, for me, it's here in advanced frequency settings, uh, advanced CPU settings, and here it's just the SVM mode. Uh, I use Docker and VMs a lot, uh, so usually I don't realize until uh, I go ahead and try to run a VM, uh, and then it says mm, you don't have virtualization. So I'm going to save and exit. Okay, now we should be good to go. All right, and we're back. Uh, my operating system started, so the BIOS update appears to have worked. Uh, we can uh, just Google check BIOS version uh, Linux, and it gives us uh, the nice command here. Uh, I just went ahead and ran that. Uh, Q to quit, if you're not familiar with that. Uh, it would probably prompt you for a password. We are on F64E now. And if we go back to uh, the Aorus uh, homepage, we see that uh, that is the latest version. Uh, there is one other thing we're going to want to do. Uh, if you went ahead and set up an automation to notify you when the BIOS needs to be updated, uh, and that's we will need to update our script. Uh, now, if it's been a while and you can't remember where you uh, put that script, uh, you can run crontab-l to list the cron jobs. Uh, and you see here I have it set to reboot. Uh, sleep 300 seconds, that's five minutes, gives everything a chance to wake up, uh, get everything sorted out, and then it goes ahead and runs uh, check BIOS. Uh, so I can just go ahead and nano to go ahead and modify that and to edit it I will need to run sudo and if we come down in here uh, we have um, f64a which was the previous version and actually I'm gonna open up another terminal and just real quick I'm just going to do uh, Python uh, user local bin uh, just to go ahead and execute that and we should see this pop up uh, because that is a hard-coded variable um, probably not the best way to do it you could probably if you're clever figure out a dynamic way to 
uh, grep through the output of, uh, of checking the BIOS version and have it do that. But um, if you're feeling lazy like me, you can just hard code it. And now we're on E, control X to save that, uh, Y to save the file, enter to keep the name. And now uh, if we go ahead and run that again, we won't get that updated or we won't get that notification uh, until there's something uh, greater than F64E available. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those well, down in the comments section. And uh, I will see you in another video.